All right, here we go. The world's first ever cold start twin turbo Corsa active exhaust lethal exclusive made by Corsa double H pipe. Sorry, neighbors. have security back there he's trying to hide i guess we're being a little bit too loud but loud noises is why we are here before we begin this awesome video i want to humbly thank each and every one of you out there helping us to surpass that thirty-two thousand subscriber mark we are growing every single day and it's all thanks to you guys out there subscribing to the channel but in today's video we are going to directly compare the corsa double x pipe versus the new lethal performance exclusive made by corsa double H pipe. So we swapped locations. I didn't want to give security out there a heart attack, but you might be asking yourself, what is the point to swapping an already great flowing X pipe with the twin turbos underneath? Well, this video is not necessarily for me. It's more for you. I want to be able to bring you guys all of the best Mustang content that I can. Not everybody is out there after that raspy X pipe sound. A lot of you guys really want the deeper tone a more muscular tone, so to speak, from something that's more exotic sounding that you would get from an X-Pipe, let alone a double X-Pipe from Corsa. So underneath we have Corsa's Extreme Axle Backs. Full disclosure, my actuators, OEM, are not working anymore. So the valves are actually stuck in an open position, which is not necessarily a bad problem. What we're gonna do now is head back to the garage, install a double H-Pipe, repeat this same experiment, and wrap it up at the end side by side flybys back and forth back and forth back and forth let you guys really hear the difference you gotta love science man let's go do some science Okay, through the power of editing, a little bit of music, some trouble, but moment of truth, voila. This is the first ever double H versus double X. World exclusive. I'm gonna be actually one of the few, the very few lucky first ones to actually have this on an S550, at least on the internet, and certainly more than likely the first in the world with a double H on a twin turbo car. So this is really exciting, guys. So we got some new hardware here. We have all your different fittings. So if you wanna put this up to an OEM header, uh, then you'd use this connection right here. Um, or if you want to go to a three inch, you have all the rest of the connections. So another cool thing about the double H pipe here is that nobody except for now Corsa and Lethal actually sell a three inch on its own H pipe. Now this is a double H pipe. What's the benefit in that? Well, I would assume more flow, maybe a more even exhaust tone. A lot of people want that old school sound and this should deliver in just that. Now being a double H, if it flows anything close to the double X pipe, we're gonna be in business. And I'm sure it's going to sound amazing. We're gonna find out in just a second. I'm gonna throw this on the car. We're gonna go for a ride. Directly compare double X, double H. Even though we're sweating, dirty, bleeding, it's all for you guys, your viewing pleasure. So if you enjoy this content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell down below because we do stuff like this like every week. <laughs> We're definitely gonna put this to the test on the dyno with my turbo car and see what the difference is. Will they flow the same? Never mind the sound. I wanna know how they also perform. Two hours later. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got an H pipe. Okay, here we go. World's first startup of the course of double H on a twin turbo car. Yeah, that's definitely different. You can still hear a lot of turbo spool. Very different exhaust note. Let's take it for a drive. I want to give you my first impressions on the road because I think that matters. First impressions are everything. So let's let's go. Instead of being a single H pipe, this is a double H pipe. And um, given that, I bet that it will flow especially being three inches, a whole lot of exhaust, which is good, but definitely a deeper sound than the double X pipe, 100%. A very kind of old school sounding. Uh, the exhaust is very pleasant. It's a little deeper than it was before. So <laughs> not a bad problem to have. The cool thing is it seems about the same volume. I didn't want the exhaust to get any quieter, but I certainly would like to entertain, you know, a deeper sound. I like the wraps that you get from uh, an X-Pipe. I, I find it very enjoyable, but this is really good too. Um, this is gonna satisfy a lot of people. We're gonna get some Sonic here, but uh, this is going to satisfy a whole lot of people. Check it out, lethalperformance.com. And to save some money when you're shopping at Lethal, definitely use promo code Xander13. But I'm very thrilled with the exhaust note. Now what we gotta do is some flybys, some revs, some side-by-side -side comparison, and end the video properly. Let's go. Day two. All right, here we go. The world's first ever cold start twin turbo, Corsa active exhaust, Lethal exclusive made by Corsa, double H-pipe. Sorry, neighbors.
we go. We have back-to-back -back runs of the double X pipe versus the new H pipe from Lethal. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you've made it this far in the video and I certainly hope that you have. Subscribe if you are new. Turn the bell notification on to stay up to date. Personally driving for just a short period of time, the exhaust note may have diminished slightly. What I mean by that is a little bit quieter, but the car got deeper has a really interesting sound, especially with twin turbos underneath this car. It sounds great. I think, and I swear, I do hear a little bit more turbo spool. Let me know down in the comments. Could you guys pick up anything, any differences in sound? So well done, Lethal. Well done, Corsa. I love the sound. A little bit deeper, no rasp, very old school sounding. Sounds very good with the turbos. I love it. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>